<laughs> oh, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Good morning, start of another week here, eh, Dale? I just can't believe it. Look what, what's happening out here. Sunshine. <laughs> Unbelievable, eh? Absolutely hammered it down uh, Friday, Saturday, but uh, quite nice today, although it has forecast a bit of drizzle and that this week, but I hope everyone had a good weekend. Bad as day, so no doubt there'd have been a few grinding sick today. Um, same as everywhere. Yeah, there that Justin picked up last week. Carl's beer soon. He uh, said he was going to be late this week. His missus on a course or something. He's got to have his young one first thing till he drops some at babysitters. Um, so I want to get on making crank posts for a school job, but we've got a thought. So he's going to crack on with that this week. We should have a load of steel getting delivered soon. I've just been in contact with another YouTuber actually. I'm hopefully going to see them uh, next week. Um, they're really flying on YouTube at the minute, so it'll be good to catch up with them. So I've got a job down that way to see, so I thought I'd kill two birds whilst I'm there. Yeah, I'm loving this sun. That is beautiful. Monday morning, it's what you want, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, what am I on with? I've just got to catch up with loads of admin. Uh, I've got a few quotes that have come in, stuff like that over the weekend. It was actually my birthday weekend, so... <laughs> Oh my God, did we have a drink on Friday. Uh, went networking in Leeds, really good, uh, all business owners. And then uh, a few of us stayed out and had a few sherbets around Leeds. And uh, then I come back over local, met my missus and my friends and literally stayed out all night. So whew, I was off on Saturday, I really was. But then I uh, had football Sunday, get in Leeds, another great win against Millwall. Top at league now, so we can stay there. Just in the yard today, doing some stuff actually. It's extending our little workshop. Carl's uh, beavering away here, as usual. Steel got delivered last thing last night, didn't it, Carl? Yeah, uh, uh, lads in here, just been down some bits. See, Jamie's got his IVs on again, look. He loves it. See ya. It's there, Jamie. It's there. Yeah, we're just going to extend it there, so basically we can get his little, uh, his little machine parked in. What's he doing, little, little, he's knocking tamper off there, uh, so we can get his machine there. Not ready for that yet? Did he get the level? And then we're going to do a bit of fencing. We're going to do a bit of fencing here. So yeah, busy, busy. Carl's making these for the job. Uh, after next actually so yeah it's all busy Justin's gone to do a delivery for me in Leeds uh, to our stockist network thank you to my suppliers you know who you are and then we're just going to fence this bit off of here because the landlords have put a load more containers there now and uh, we just don't like it you know a few undesirable sort of knocking about um, touch wood we've never had out touch but Never know, do you? So yeah, that's that's us. I'll, I've just come out of my office because I'm sick of sat down all morning. <laughs> and now I'll, I'll get back to it, and I'll catch you later. So this is uh, Britannia Hotel. It's going to be a one or five meters. We've actually got two meter twin at this side, and then V mesh at the other side. So we'll find out. It's going to be 110 meters in total. It's going to be coming all the way down. I already discussed that. If they want it close up to in there, it needs clearing. Uh, if not, we'll just work off the line that's provided. So then we come down here and be all the way down there. Like I said, here, this is the same. You're either going to be all the way out here because of clearance or they can clear it all the way back. So it's 110 metres in total. Um, I'll get a decision if he wants twin or if he wants V mesh uh, in a second. But yeah, it goes all the way down, we'll just be, like I said, keeping it as close to the bushes as possible. If they want to get it trimmed back and we go closer, that's up to them. We're coming all the way down here. So you'll see now there's V-mesh down here and then twin up at the top. Nice Airdale van there. What I'd suggest is copy what we've already started on this side. That's V-mesh. 
um, get a measurement I believe it's two meter high these panels actually look different to what are supplied now as well all the way there and that's the job this job here uh, they're going to take the bushes out all this fencing behind is going to want taking down um, it's going to be going all the way to the end. This is going to be quote two. Uh, there's going to be a quote three as well. It's all going to be 1.8 high green. Uh, three. So 2.4 because it's uh, the outside perimeter um, and it's going to be 358. Bottom side is going to be roughly 40 meters. Obviously, the bush is going to come out. Uh, we're taking out any metal. Uh, the bushes are all going to be out and it's going to go down here. If you see on the other side here, it goes uphill. There's 14 quarter panels going down that hill. So I'd suggest matching same going up this hill. It's going to be around 16 metres to the top of the hill. And then, yeah, again, this side, same bushes coming out, fences coming down. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So we'll work around that. Bush will be out. We'll take fencing down. Um, so that's 16 metres here. 40 at the bottom this is all 2.4 high is this side as well it's quite nice and square another 40 meters down this section to the end so you're going to be 40 16 uphill 40 again this section here is this is going to be on the second court take away the double leaf gate and that last section and um, this bit here is going to be 38 meters and um, gate here is this going to come out and you're going to get a 2.4 yeah just, yeah, it's just yeah. so this this will come out get a 2.4 high gate here and then we're going to be going up the hill as well uh, the hill obviously it's all uphill it's going to be 358 twin 2.4 high so it wouldn't surprise me if every single one of these will be half panels and um, we'll have to adjust accordingly Right, this section here, this bit's flat. You're going to be talking around 30 to 35 meters on the flat bit. Once it gets to the corner, you're talking another 70, sorry, 80 meters down to the bottom. What's all going to be in halves? Some sections, maybe quarters. Obviously, we'll only know once we start digging with stuff like that. But yeah, it's been a bit of a funny week for us this week. We've done a couple of repairs and stuff like that. It's like calm before the storm. We've just done a little bit fencing here just for a bit of privacy great little shelter for digger here um, so sick of having to get it in the uh, workshop here we'll put all those cappings and razor wire and brackets and stuff here um, put a bit of gutter in on there feeds into there just a bit more private because like I say they're renting them out now so we will eventually concrete this floor here We'll concrete all that. Um, I'm probably going to move these out, concrete that. Um, lads have just shot off to get some bits. Uh, Justin's in his office sorting some bags out. I'm just going to temporarily concrete these bottles here. So what's happening? It's wheels in four truck getting stuck when we unload any wagons here. So we'll just do it now. Um, I do want to actually re-concrete it all. You know, big slabs eventually. It were only ever done temporary when I first took this yard over. I didn't realise I was going to get in deliveries left, right and centre. Um, and then what we're going to do is, we're going to move these today. These are like as old stock posts, these are as new stock. Um, and I think we're going to make some racks so they actually stand upright. Bit of a space saver, but temporary we're going to move them over there near, near mine Justin's office just there for now and then like I say we're, we're going to concrete this there and then I can get the forks in and get stuff because I've got some three meter high stuff on top of cabin and that as well, well as that one yeah we, we, we're sort of running out of room here a bit if I'm honest uh, I'm still debating whether to take another unit on but you know, it's like it's just money and then they're just going to uh, fence this bit across here because like I say, they're renting loads of units out there and you don't know who's coming and going and most of our stuff's in there. Alright, just getting some concrete first time here. We've got Baggy with us and we've got Mr No Ivy's behind us. It's on fire. Here we go. Yard already tipped off. Uh, 
Let me just rake it out. Nice and flat, then we'll smooth it off. Carl and uh, Jamie are just about to go fit this gate and then go see another couple of jobs. Mark's on, on booze today. I think he's off to go watch Peter Kay this weekend. Yes, Friday. Friday feeling. End of another week. Um, as you can see, I'm just at home actually. I'm not actually in work today. We're going down to that there London, the big smoke, whatever you want to call it. Um, end of my birthday celebrations from last week and my mate Ducky's birthday this weekend, so a bit of a joint do. Going down to London. I booked some Peter K tickets ages ago, probably 18 months ago now, so yeah, we're down there for the weekend, a few of us, I think eight of us. So that should be a good good trip. I'm just uh, getting ready, just being in the shower. So I'll get my uh, John Travolta suit on soon and we'll be off, train down. But yeah, I'd just like to thank you all for tuning in this week. If you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. Why not give us a like while you're here? Or in fact, why don't you subscribe? It's free and we'll see you next week.